welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon. You already know. The girl in the picture, Milan Garcon. I think I just double winked. That was kind of weird. But either way, it's Moan Shop Monday. And for those that don't know what a moan is, moans are hormones. So yeah, every Monday I take one syringe. Well, not a full syringe, but I take a syringe and I insert it into my arm or my thigh. I've tried to do my butt, but I just couldn't get it. I just couldn't get it. I, it just It just wasn't. It wasn't teeth for me. It hurt. It just wouldn't pierce the skin. And it's already enough mentally to have to give yourself a shot. And then to consistently have to give yourself a shot. Like, not like, oh, this is just one time thing. Like, no, it's like every week or some people it's bi-weekly. Depending on your dosage and percentage and what your doctor says you need to do to stay healthy. It's time to do that thing that trans people do. Honestly, y'all, I don't be liking the little the little alcohol pads. It just don't be enough like alcohol in the pad for me. So I have my own alcohol. And y'all have seen me do this on my channel before. Um, but I just like to clean the whole area. <laughs> like, I have found that a lot of doctors will tell you not to do it in your arm, to make sure you do it in your thigh or stomach or buttocks. But that's not always tea for everybody because the only meat I really have is in my butt and my thigh and a little bit of, it's not even no meat right there, but I darn sure can't do it on my stomach. So, um, you know, I talk to my girls and some, some people put it in their arm and it works for me and it's way less painful than any other, um, option. You want to take out... The same amount that you're going to be injecting into yourself, you want to scoot the syringe back, put it into the, put it in here. You want to push all of the air into the vial. It's not going to explode, nothing like that. I'm going to open up the skinnier, smaller needle. Got her. I'll just put the trash in there too, why not? Take the top off. And then what you want to do, I overdraw it and then I push it back into the thing because you want to make sure like there's no air bubbles in there. Okay, so I want to push it out to my correct dosage. And then it won't be any bubbles or air in the actual syringe. All right, and we're in. Slowly but surely. The skinnier the needle, like the smaller the needle, it's going to hurt less inserting it, but it is going to take longer to push it into your arm because, of course, it just has less space to come out. I just think my arm wasn't feeling it today, but we're done. I'm gonna put this whole thing back in the sharps container. I never like bleed after my um hormone shot. Like I never. Okay, y'all know that I have started dating. How come when a guy starts talking to you, he always want to know? And I'm gonna tell you what I think, but I feel like he always want to know. Um, do you have Snapchat? And that's not like. Like, at first, okay, I thought that guys wanted to communicate with me on Snapchat so that they can keep the messages hitting because they're like, oh, I don't want to buy, no, I'm messing with a trans girl, da 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 But then I was on the train one day. I was on the line of and I was listening to this girl talk to this boy. And she was talking about, like, the snap she had sent him. And, you know, they was having, like, you know, freaky talk or whatever on the phone. Mind you, she was mad being g mad loud. I was really getting on my nerves because I was tired. But she was getting her life. And she was really, like, yeah, you saw what I sent you on Snapchat? Mm-hmm, da 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 And she had him on speaker. He was saying some wild stuff, and she trying to be like, oh, my God, I got you on speaker, but you never taking him off speaker. I don't know. It was just, like, very pick-me, very simp about the situation, and I'm like, wait, wait, wait. So it's not... Guys don't want to communicate with me on Snapchat just because I'm trans. Like, this is something that guys are doing with all women, and there are some women that are that are playing into this bullshit. And I was so mad at her because I'd be ready to just swipe, delete, block, don't call me. If you see me in the streets, don't say nothing. When a guy asks me, do I have Snapchat? Because I just feel like that's weird. It's either we're going to keep on communicating how we've been communicating or like just get my number. Because what? Like I'm way too grown to be kicking on Snapchat. Like I... I don't even have it on my phone no more. So that really blew me because I'm just like, wow, I thought it was one thing, but all guys want to communicate on Snapchat no matter who they're communicating with. It has nothing to do with them trying to hide you. I don't know. Like maybe Snapchat is this place where people just be freaky. I don't know. I don't know. I thought that was, I thought, I thought that was Twitter. I thought everybody just had an alt Twitter and that's what you did there. But even though I don't do that there either, 
But I was really just thinking, like, well, maybe because the message is delete. Like, oh, him and nobody know he's talking to somebody that's trans. Well, that's already a red flag for me, which is why most guys, I just say no. And I ignore whatever else they have to say for the, what, what, whatever time they're saying it. But it's really some of y'all out here that is allowing this mess. And it got girls like me with integrity and fucking manners and decorum and, you know, a little bit of self-worth. You got us out here looking like mean ass bitches because we don't, we be like, we don't got snap and just move on. Like, I see why they be thinking girls is mean because there are some girls that really just do whatever boys say. And that's crazy. That's one thing that be blowing me because this guy just asked me to have snap earlier today. And I just literally, I'm still trying to explain to him what no means, but whatever. Um, That's going to be a chop. And then... Just just dating in general, just recently I realized that there was somebody in my life that I didn't really take seriously about them wanting to date me. And it wasn't until I actually started dating with intent that I realized that I almost missed out on a really good guy. And I just want to tell everybody out there, don't, don't, don't self-sabotage because somebody is giving you like the communication and the care that you're not used to. Because I just felt like your trust, this was like almost two years ago, like definitely a year and a half plus at this point, where it's like, I just, I guess I wasn't that confident. So it was like, why are you communicating with me this way? Like you just want something out of me. And that's kind of the only thing I just kind of thought at that point until I actually met some real fuck boys. Then I'm like, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You over here waiting for a text back because you wanted to link with him. Y'all did whatever y'all did. And now his response, like his, his communication has changed. He's not being as responsive because he got what he wanted out of the situation, right? You live and you learn. But then I got somebody else over here that I don't even pay any attention to. And will look at the text and not respond or respond when I feel like it or one word responses. And this man cares about me so much. And I found that out in like the past month. So that's been a nice realization to realize that, you know, you really cannot, you cannot accept the bullshit, especially when it's some real shit right in front of you. So I just thought that was, that was quite a realization, especially going into 2024. So, you know, we'll see how that, um, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that plays out. We'll see how that mindset works up here. And if I actually apply that throughout the year. Stay tuned, you know. It's Milan Garcon. But this was Moan Shop Monday. That's pretty much what I have to talk about. Today, it was it was a chill day at work. It wasn't too much. Um, Y'all know I work on a morning show. So I go to work at 3 in the morning. I really want to wash my hair. But it's it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look dirty. So I'm just like being lazy about when I'm going to do it. I was supposed to do it over the weekend. But then I didn't do it at all over the weekend. Because I wanted to be a sad bitch in the bed. Well, not really sad. But I was just like resting. But I just really didn't have the energy to really accomplish any like tasks from start to finish. But um, yeah, Moan Shop Monday was some tea. I think next week's Moan Shop Monday... I might as well just make Moan Shop Monday next week... Um my one year because I take my next moan shot on January 15th even though I started hormones last year on January 16th so I want to do a special video but I might just combine it and just release it a day early it like it's not that deep like come on girl like I wanted it to be released on the day but like it's just not it's, it, it just can't be that deep so mwah, thanks for watching